Uh, the uh, former governor of Massachusetts, Mitt Romney. Governor, thanks very much for coming in. Thanks, Wolf. Good to be with you. Uh, the president of the United States is in South Korea right now. I had a meeting with uh, the, the Russian leader, Medvedev, and, uh, and he was heard with an open mic. It's always dangerous for these politicians or leaders to be talking near an open mic. He was heard saying this to Medvedev, the Russian president. Listen to this. This is my last place, please. Yeah. And this After my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. And this I transmit this information to Vladimir and the Senate. All right, in case you didn't hear it, this is my last election. After my election, I have more flexibility. That, that is a factual statement that the president is making. If he doesn't have to worry about getting reelected, he doesn't have to worry so much about domestic politics. Is there anything wrong in, uh, when it comes to national security issues to be saying something like that to the Russian leader? Yeah, there's something terribly wrong with that. It is, uh, it is alarming. Uh, it is troubling. Uh, the agreement that the president put in place with regards to nuclear weapons is one which I find very, very troubling already. Uh, the decision to withdraw our missile defense sites from Poland uh, put us in greater jeopardy, in my view. The actions he's taken so far, which he says are to reset relations with Russia, have not worked out at all. Russia continues to support Syria, supports Iran, has, has fought us f uh, with the crippling sanctions. We wanted to have the world put in place against Iran. L uh, uh, Russia is not a friendly character on the world stage. And for this president to be looking for greater flexibility, where he doesn't have to answer to the American people in his relations with Russia, is very, very troubling, very alarming. Uh, I am uh, I'm very, very concerned. I think the American people are going to feel the same way. Th this is a president who is uh, telling us one thing and doing something else and is planning on doing something even more frightening. Well, when you say even more frightening, what's he planning on doing, in your opinion? Well, my guess is it has to do either with, uh, with nuclear arms discussions or it has to do with missile defense sites. Uh, what he did both on nuclear weaponry already and the, and the New START treaty, uh, as well as his decision to withdraw uh, missile defense sites from, from Poland and then reduce our missile defense sites in Alaska uh, from the original plan. I mean, th these are very uh, unfortunate developments. And if he's planning on doing more and suggest to Russia that, that he has things he's willing to do with them, he's not willing to tell the American people. This is to Russia. That This is, without question, our number one geopolitical foe. They, they fight every uh, uh, cause for the world's worst actors. The, the idea that he has some more flexibility in mind for Russia is very, very troubling indeed. Well, you think Russia's a bigger foe right now than, let's say, Iran or China or North Korea? Is that, or, or, is that what you're suggesting, Governor? Well, I'm saying in terms of a geopolitical opponent, the nation that lines up with the world's worst actors. Of course, the greatest threat that the world faces is a nuclear Iran, uh, and nuclear North Korea is already troubling enough. But when these, uh, these terrible actors pursue uh, their course uh, uh, in the world, and we go to the United Nations looking for ways to stop them, when, when Assad, for instance, is murdering his own people, uh, we, go, we go to the United Nations, and who is it that always stands up for the world's worst actors? It is always Russia, uh, typically with China alongside. And, uh, and so in terms of a geopolitical foe, a, a nation that's on the Security Council, that has the heft of the Security Council, and is, of course, a, a massive nuclear power, uh, uh, Russia is the, the geopolitical foe. And, uh, and, and, and th the idea that our president is, is planning on doing something with them that he's not willing to tell the American people before the election is something I find uh, uh, very, very alarming.